Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hey, Jose. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Estoy teniendo problemas con la cosa esta del audio de la. Ah, okay. Pero me escucha bien ahorita. Sí, sí, ahorita sí. No, es que, o sea, para, 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 para que me escuchara a mí era lo que tenía el problema. Yo, ah, yo tengo... ah, ok. El micrófono, entonces. Sí. My microphone. Your mic. Ok, we'll start in a moment. Ok. Okay, sorry. Okay, let's start. We cannot um, waste more time. Vamos a comenzar, chicos. Okay, yeah, just... Um, okay, there. Can you see my screen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, okay, thank you. Okay, L last night we were talking about places and things we can buy on those places. But okay, so just to remind, we have a, we have a bank, a drugstore, 
a post office, a gas station, a restaurant. Um, what else? A bookstore, a department store, and a supermarket. Right now, I want you to name some other places that you can find or that are in the in your neighborhood neighborhoods or cities. As an example, we have a schools. What else do we have in the neighborhood? What other places do we have? You say hospital yesterday? Yeah, you say hospital. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? What else? Come on, come on. Participate. Wake up. Teacher, we have a, a cemetery. Uh, cemetery. Okay, cemetery. Yeah, cemetery. A park. Park, of course, we have parks. It's small, big, but we have parks. Where do you play soccer, my friends? In the stadium. Oh, but we don't have a stadium so in, in the in our neighborhood. We have canchas, right? That's how we that's how we say in español. In my series, I study. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You have a stadium, all right? Good for you. But how do you say campo de fuego, football? We say cancha, right? So that's how we say it, but. You don't know? No? Okay, that, that is a it's soccer, not. that is a soccer field. Neighbor, my house is a um, school. Okay, we already wrote schools. Mm -hmm. We already wrote school, hospital, cemetery, park, stadium, soccer field, and how do you say cancha de basket? If you don't know, say, I don't know. Pero díganme algo, por favor. I don't know. All right. So that is a basketball court. That's how we say it, okay? Para nosotros todo es cancha. Hmm. Teacher. Yes. Soccer field, no, nos referimos solo a cancha, pero no definimos a qué tipo de sport. Correctamente, la primera palabra es soccer. Y soccer para nosotros es fútbol. Fútbol. Balón pie, correcto. Así que soccer. Okay. Soccer field. Okay, you're welcome. What else, my friends? We have a stores, a little store. We have cafeterias. The cafeteria can be like the one that we call pupuseria, right? Where you go and buy a, 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 a pan con yeah. pollo. That, that, is, that is a cafeteria, okay? That's a cafeteria. Um, library? A library, library is, is, is biblioteca. Bookstore is librería. Okay. All right. We, okay. we need to get to know more places. And right now, uh, oh, yeah, we have a gym, right? Gyms are, are 
We have a gas station. We already, oh, we already have a gas station. We have a police station. Mm -mm. We have a bus terminal. Teacher, yes. What Sorry. did you say? Clinica or unidad de salud? Uh, that I think is clinic. Church. Oh yeah, we have a church, of course. Evangelist or Catholic. It doesn't matter. That's a church, okay? Thank you, teacher. Okay, good. All right, my friends, let's go to another activity. And here we have a conversation. In this conversation, we have a man and a woman talking about um, uh -huh. how to get to places. Okay, how do you get to a place? Usted cómo da las, las direcciones en español, right? A la par de, detrás de, enfrente de. Those are preposition of place. Sí o no? Mm -hmm. Sí, teacher, yo lo apoyo. Yo también. Okay, thank you, gracias. All right, así que, what are we going to do? We're going to practice. We're going to identify the preposition of place. Y cómo es que estas personas... Eh, se indican esas cosas, right? Let, let me start. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? Look at the question. A public restroom? Mm, uh, talking some... about... Uh... Reverend public restroom is um uh, everybody can use the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. I'm just I'm just um we're just practicing the pronunciation right now, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. After that, we're gonna see the new words and so on. Let me send you the Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restaurant around here? A public restaurant? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Oh no, my son needs a restaurant. Well, there is a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First Avenue. On first, yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay. As uh, Jose was saying, that the public restroom is because the word public is like, okay, yes, it is a public, right? Yeah. You have to pay a quarter and you got in there and you use it. That's it. With paper or no paper, you got in. San Miguel is uh, 75 cents. My goodness. You got to pay that. That's crazy. Yeah. Come on. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to live there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but many people say uh, in this uh, town, in that town, this, uh, the life is cheap. <laughs> but I'm believe never there. I don't believe it. No. Well, okay, let me see. All right, here we have, okay. Uh, department store, we're on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner is an intersection. Okay, mm -hmm. right? We're going to okay. study, we're going to study the preposition of place after you practice that conversation. We're gonna practice with Jacqueline right now. I'm gonna be the man, you're gonna be the woman. And after that, we go to the um, breakup rooms and you gonna practice, okay? Let's do it, Jacqueline. The man. Uh, I'm the man, of course. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restaurant around here? 
a, a public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restaurant. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of, of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you, Jacqueline. All right, now let's go to the to the groups and let's practice. When we come back, we're gonna study the preposition to give directions.
Okay, class. <clears throat> Do you have any questions about meaning or pronunciation? Meaning or pronunciation of the words? Or is very teacher for you? It's okay, teacher. All right, thank you. It's okay, teacher. Good, good. Okay, now we're going to have a... <clears throat> and I guess everybody is okay. This this is uh this is about pronunciation. This is about intonation. This is about compound nouns. What are compound nouns? Compound nouns are words that are composed by two words, but they mean one thing. Understand? Okay, you have two words like, what's this called? Cell phone. It's a cell phone. That is a compound noun. No? Got it? Or like, uh, how do you say libreria? Bookstore. Bookstore. In you and bookstore, you have two words. Store and books. Uh, you have book and a store. And it, mean, <laughs> and it means one thing, one place. Understand what is a compound noun? Yes, teacher. All right. So you say book. Ah, tienda libro. Oh, ni saber tienda libro. No, no. It's not, that's not the meaning. It's libreria, okay? There is a phrase on word. Uh, what? There is a phrase on word. Fredson, Fredson. Uh -huh. No, Fredson word, una composición de, de, de las palabras. I think that... Oh, uh, phrasal, phrasal, phrasal. Ah, oh, those are, but that's, the, ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like wake up, get up, stand up, uh, get off, get in, uh, yeah. That is, but that, that, that's different. That's another, that's another topic because there are separable, phrasal verbs and non-separable phrasal verbs. Okay. Una se pueden separar y no pierden su significado y otras no se pueden separar porque al separarlas pierden su significado. Ese es otro tema. It's another topic. Okay. But it's good. It's good. That's good one. That's uh, good information. Okay. But here we have a post office. Okay. You see, ah, uh, ah, uh, teacher, ¿y qué hace esa bolita de golf ahí? But, but digamos es que una bolita de golf, All right? Here, and where is the 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 little ball? Is on the first word. ¿Y qué significará eso? What does what does that mean, teacher? I don't understand. It means that on the first word you have to rise your voice okay rise your intonation okay dele, dele dale mayor fuerza de voz donde está la primera palabra eso es lo que significa esa, esa bolita mágica ahí all right así imagínese yo imagine that i read the, the le pongo al final la bolita post office cómo escucha eso post office post office no no Estamos hablando de la fuerza de voz, ¿ok? Mm. Y estoy cambiando la fuerza de voz a la segunda palabra. Notice the difference, para que usted note la diferencia, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. Ok, first, post, post office, that's, that's the normal way. Y, y mm -hmm. alguien viene y dice, post office, hey, ¿qué pasó? Hey, what happened? That's a change. All right. Mm. Eso no es posible. Ok. No digo gas station. 
gas station. No, escuche cómo funciona esto del stress. ¿Y qué hace eso? Nos da eh, un manejo del inglés. O sea, se nos escucha bien. Se nos escucha bien el inglés. All right? Por eso es que tenemos que conocer estas reglas. All right? So, bus office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Got it? Yeah. Who wants to practice? I see Isaac wants to practice. Ahí está, ahí levantando, me entiende, el ánimo. Vamos. Repeat, Isaac. Okay. What happened? Um, repeat with uh, now? Right now. Yeah, right now. Right now. All right. Post office. Mm -hmm. Gas station. Restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, box store, department store. Department store. Uh -huh. Department store. Okay, thank you. Do we have a drugstore? Let me see, Maria del Carmen. Uh, post office. Guest station, yes. restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Okay, thank you. Do we have more compound nouns? How do you say um, tienda para mascotas? Pet shop. Pet shop. Pet shop. Pet shop. How do you say floristeria? Uh, um. I think flower shop. Mm. Or flower store. Flower store is better. How do you say dulceria? Candy store. Candy, candy, candy shop, candy, candy, no, candy, candy store, candy store, candy, candy store, candy store. store. Una es shop, en otra es a store, and like this, okay. Eh, zapatería, how do you say zapatería? Shoe store. Shoe store, shoe store, yes. No más así, don't leave shoes, ¿verdad? No, esa es, es, es otra cosa, okay. All right, let's continue. And uh, right now we need to take a shot. Open your cameras for a moment. I'm going to open mine because I, I was having bad signal. Ahora sí, ya se estabilizó. All right, here we are. Smile. Thank you. One more. Don't worry, be happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I don't have to. Excellent. Okay, let's come back. Okay, next slide. Oh, here we have the preposition of place that the teacher was talking about. We have, ¿cuál es la primera? On. On. Most of it. Uh, the other one is on the corner of. Just teaching. Uh, Rest wait, 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 Jose. Wait, Jose. Right now we are talking about the preposition of place. Okay. 
All right, thank you. We have on, on Main Street, on the corner of, across from, this is, across from is like saying in front of, yeah? We have next to, and between. Between is when, is between two places. In the middle, or next to this place, and next to the other, and I'm in the middle, okay? My store, I have a candy store, and on my left side, I have a pet shop, and in the other, in my uh, right side, I have a gas station. I'm in the middle of those places. That is between. Across from, we can say, uh, enfrente de o al cruzar de, ¿verdad? Okay? On the corner is for intersections. Okay? Right in the corner on, on this uh, street and this other street. Okay, ahí se hace la intersección, right? So let's see. Vamos a ver esto. Estos ejemplos. We have some examples here. The department store is on Main Street. We want to listen to Francisco. Francisco, can you listen to me? Are you listening? Open your mic, Francisco. No, oh, there you are. Okay, léeme estas tres oraciones, por favor. The first three sentences. Here. Okay. Barton Main Store is on Main Street. Continue. Is on the corner of Main and Firch. Very good. Is across from the park. From the park. Excellent. Thank you, Francisco. Now let's listen to Maricela. Miriam Maricela. Can you read the next three sentences, please? It's next to the bank. Yeah. Okay, the bank is with between between, between the, the the department. Department. It's Department store in the restaurant. All right, restaurant, restaurant. Re okay, rest okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Be happy. We're gonna uh, explain. Okay, the department store is on on Main Street. On imagine that we are we are talking about El Salvador or San Salvador, and we we can the department store is on. Um, Avenida España, right? Okay. Uh, it's on the corner of Alameda Juan Pablo and Avenida España. That could be a, a, a direction. Okay. It's a, it's a corner. It's across from the gas station. Aquí puede ser otro lugar, okay? Can be a park, can be a hotel, can be a gas station, can be a movie theater. Is across from the park. Okay. Is next to the bank. Okay. Next. Next. Al lado. A la par. All right. The bank is between. Between. All right. Between. Between the department store and the restaurant. Okay, okay. Uh, teacher, I have a little problem para decir departamento. Tienda de, uh, de departamento, de, de un departamento de una, o una sección de una tienda, right? It's department, 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 department. Okay, you have to repeat that. Department store and the restaurant. Okay, questions? No. No? Comprende? Comprende mucho or comprende poquito? Comprende. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, tell me. 
but uh, between is only for a place. It's not, no use for a person. Okay. You can use for people too. In uh, you can use it for people in a, let's give an example of a classroom. You are in a classroom and you're sitting between Carlos and Isabel. So uh, okay. we, we're gonna say, Veronica is between Carlos and Isabel. Okay, we can use it for people. Okay, teacher, thank you. For, for things too. You're welcome. Okay, no more, no more questions. Uh, teacher. Yes. Uh, between talking about uh, uh, two people, can say, uh, uh, if I tell you something, I, I can uh, tell you, I will tell you something, but because uh be uh, between you and me oh yeah yeah that's that's mm -hmm. another another way to use the word mm -hmm. yeah because the 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 translation for that word is entre uh -huh. yeah so you can talk between two people that's only uh, that's uh, a that's a thing that you have to talk only with one person we can we can give two address about that word too What's the other? No, right. No. Talking about um can you say um Jose, where is the um, American bank? Uh -huh. um, Supposed to is uh in the uh, is a park a uh, uh, behind the park is um oh coffee coffee shop and, and can say in the Sena is uh, the American bank can say uh, between uh, coffee shop and the bar. Okay, yeah, but what you're saying behind, behind is at the back of. Atras. Uh -huh, the atras. Yeah, that, uh, in, in here right now, we don't have that preposition, but it's good to know it, right? Behind mm -hmm. or behind, that is another pronunciation for the same word, mm -hmm. is, is useful. Okay, my friend. So here we have a, a map of a city. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have First Avenue. We have a, ga a gas station. Yeah. We have Main yeah. Street. Second Se Avenue. Center Street say, and Second Avenue. Mm -hmm. Right now we have another activity with the same map. And I want you to look at the map and complete the sentences, then compare with a compañero. Okay, I want you to work in groups, okay? Then we're gonna compare, we're not going to compare with a partner, we're going to compare in class. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. And let's work. Okay. Um, can you say that to the chat? Oh yeah, yeah. I will send the the picture. Thank you. Welcome. There you go.
in movie theater in Florida.
Okay, ready? Group number one. That was integrated by Francisco, Maria del Carmen, and Veronica Tatiana. Can you read the sentences, please? Okay, the coffee shop is on a second avenue, and it, it, um, Next to the, the shoe store. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Continue, please. Um, the the movie T-shirt is is between to the park in a May, and it is it's on the park. Um, the gas station is. Uh, across from across from a parking lot, and it's on a first and center. And the post office is um, post office. The post office is here. Yeah, the post office, the post office is um it's on a on a center in a second and, and it's uh next to the hospital and the last bank is between to the restaurant in a in the apartment store and it's on a main Street. It's it's on Main Street. Thank you. It's on. It's on. Okay. Okay. Thank you, group number one. Very good job. Okay. Now we have uh, group number two. We have Fatima, Jose Herrera, Juan Inez, and Ruth Abigail. Please, one of you is going to be the uh, representing the the group. The representative. Group number two. Hi. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Uh, the coffee shop is on Second Avenue, is between the shoe store. Between the shoe store. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, across from. Uh, no, no está segura. No. <laughs> ah, porque cuando decimos between es que está en medio de dos lugares. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Así que no puede ser between. No, it's across from the shoe store. Shoe store. <clears throat> Let me see. Uh, to the multiter is. Across uh, from uh -huh. the park, the park in May. It mm -hmm. is, it's on the park. It's on the park. Continue, please. 
the gas station is next to the parking lot. It's a next corner. Continue, continue. It's a corner. On first center. Mm -hmm. The post office is across from center. And second is it's next to the hospital. Mm -hmm. The bank is uh, between the restaurant. Mm -hmm. The department store is on Main Street. Okay. Um, a quick question for rule number two. Did you work together? Trabajaron Yo, juntos. How much? Eso me parece. Más me parece que no trabajaron juntos. Yeah. Okay. Good. But Pongan... I have a, a oh. little Solo dos trabajos. with the picture because the, I can see the, the signs. Oh. Okay. We're going to go with the yeah, numbers. Because in uh, this. Uh, um, Excuse me. Uh, the department store. Uh, um, can I can see better. All right. Okay, I can, Jose. I, I can see a city bank in the uh, St. Mary restaurant. Uh, uh, excuse me, Jose. Uh, we need to work, continue with the activity. And with group number three, Damaris, Giovanni, Henry, and Miriam. Uh, choose a representative, please. Uh huh. We're we're waiting. Oh, okay. Um. Um. Number one, teacher. The coffee shop is on Second Avenue. It's across from the shoe store. Okay, uh, we're gonna the movie theater. Excuse me, Henry. We're gonna work together right now because of the time. Okay, yeah. así que el grupo cuatro se va a salvar. All right, but we need to to have this clear. Okay. Okay. Let me see. You're saying that the okay. coffee shop is across from the across. From the shoe store. Okay. Aquí tenemos shoe store. If you see here, the shoe store is next yes. to the is next to the coffee shop. Here they are. Yeah. Oh. yeah? Is yes, it, yes, it's yes. Next to okay. Correct that, please. Just correct that. It's next I can't, to the I can't see. All right. Don't oh. worry. Don't worry. Así okay. que lo ma, we're gonna work together. Okay, okay. continue continue with number two. It's next to you. Next okay. to next to mm -hmm. number two, the movie theater is on a, a corner of, of the park and main street. Mm -hmm. Continue. It's it's across from the park. Okay. The gas station is across from the parking lot. The movie theater. It's yeah. it's it, um in the corner corner of first and center. 
Okay, stop, stop Street. there. Yeah, thank you, Henry. Stop there. Ya vamos a continuar. Just, just let, let's check something together. Okay, cuando decimos on the corner of. On the corner the, of. Uh, on the corner of. On the corner of. Okay, very good. Good, good job. Okay. Good job, Henry. On the corner of. Okay. The post office on, on the, the corner, corner of First Cent Avenue and First Center, Center Street. And Center Street. Oh, you no, you can just say it's on the corner mm -hmm. of Center and Second. It's on the corner of First and Center. Okay. Good. Okay. Con continue, please. <clears throat> Number four, the post office. The post office uh -huh. is on the corner of Center and Second. It's next to the hospital. Next to the hospital. Yes, of course. And number five, the bank is between the restaurant and the department store. Yes. It's on Main Street. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you, Henry. Thank you. Okay. Those are the answers. Okay. Those are the answers. Right now, we're going to go to uh, any questions. Tomaron nota? Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Sí, sí, okay. yeah. All right. Now let's, mm -hmm. let's take the pick. Now I see the. Uh, ah. Offices. Now, 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 now you see the light. Nah, nah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm reading all the all places. Now you see it. I, I see the sky. You can see the clear sky. Okay, good. <laughs> all right. Let's take the peek. No questions, girls and boys, class in general. No? All right. This is important to give directions. This is giving directions. Not addressing. All right. Excuse me, but but I can I can see all map. Yeah, yeah. It is difficult. It's difficult because the the I mean the sign the the letters I mean are very small. You have to zoom it, maximize it. Yeah. All right. Let's take the peek and then we call the attendance. Open your cameras, my friends. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, be happy. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. Ahí estamos. Gorditos y bonitos. Más gorditos que bonitos, pero aquí está. ¿verdad? Okay, go. The last y tratando, one. Y tratando de cortarlo más. Y más, más semita. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Muy bien. I'm going to call the attendance, my friends. Mm -hmm. Was I don't know why this is taking so long to to charge. He estado tratando de cargar esta página del antes de las de la clase y no me ha cargado. Pensé que era por ah, aquí está. Ahora sí. No era que porque estaba encendido el tele, pero... Okay, right now we're gonna... Okay, call the attendance. Today is Tuesday the 8th. Today I went to the dentist. It was... Uh... Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ahí está. 
Alba Iris, yes, she's there. Um, Damari Lisset. I'm here. Thank you, Damaris. Eduardo Enrique. Disappear, he disappeared. Eh, Fátima Esmeralda. Here. Thank you, Francisco Armando. Thank you. Giovanni Lopez. Henry Alexander. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Isaac. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Isaac. Jacqueline, Vanessa. Present, teacher. Joao. Tengo que estar por ahí también. Jose Magdaleno. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Yeah. Juana. Juana. Present, teacher. Judith. Por ahí la vi. Liliana Abigail. Present. Thank you. Linda Hazel. Present. Thank you. María del Carmen. Present. Thank you. Miriam Maricela. Present. Thank you. Roberto Carlos. Regresó a su país. Ruth Abigail. I'm here. Thank you. Stephanie Yamilet. No vino ahora. Oh, Tatiana, Emilia. Present teacher. Thank you. And Veronica Tatiana. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, my friends. We're done. Okay, so we're gonna say good night and goodbye. Bye. Thank bye. you, teacher. Good night. Bye. See, See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, everybody. Have a nice night, night everybody. Bye. You too.